So guys, so today I'm going to tell you the reason why you guys should not born too much or give birth too much. So the reasons why is coming from a person that is from a big family. You understand? I'm from a big family whereby my father married two wives. Father has a lot of children. So I'm not going to die to that today. Maybe one of these days I will still tell you guys one of our my whole family matter and all that. So the major reason why I'm doing this video is for those people giving birth now. The reason why you should not give birth too much. Let me come closer. So the reason why you should not give birth too much, there is a lot of things that are involved in it. Let's say if you have money, if you are a rich person, if you give birth too much, at least it's understandable. But as a poor man or an average man, you know, you, you are trying. You are planning to give birth too much. It's not a right decision for you. So first thing, the reason why you should not give birth too much, I'm not going to name them after the you know, after no, but I'll just be saying them. The reasons why you should not give birth too much is this. Maybe I should name them. Number one. When you give birth too much, you cannot take care of that children. You understand? When you give birth too much, and you cannot take care of that children, hmm. there's going to be a problem. A big problem. It's not that you, the, you will not suffer alone. The kids are going to suffer from it too. If you are not able to take care of them. That is number one. Number two. If you give birth too much, your children, a lot of them will not be responsible. If you give birth too much, a lot of them will not be responsible and a lot of them will depend on some. You understand? A lot of them will depend on some. And there will be always argument in the house. No matter what. In anything, in any little thing, in any in any little thing you they want to do. You will see them calling names. Has this person done his part? Has the other one done his part? And you will make a lot of them be lazy and dependent to many of their brothers or sisters. You understand? That's number two. Number three. <clears throat> the reason why you should not give birth too much. And it's going to hard for them to take care of the family. It's going to be very hard for them to take care of the parents. Why? Because if eventually you give birth to more, maybe at the end of the day, they are not that doing well. Even when they are even doing well, in, major, in, in the major part of the family, you will find out that a lot of the children will be arguing on taking care of their parents when their parents is getting old. You understand? For example, if they are, the children are not doing well enough, you will find out that if they want to send money to their parents to buy something, at the end of the day, there will be an argument. There will be some that don't want to even care about the family. You understand? That is number three. There will be some that don't want to care about the family at all, that is care about the, the parents at all. You understand? They will just feel unconcerned. So, number four reason why you should not burn too much so number four reason why you should not burn too much there will always be an argument in the house for nothing something two people for uh, three people four people can just talk about easily but when you give birth too much like six seven eight ten eleven four thirteen fourteen fifteen up to twenty or sixteen that you can't take care of they will not be responsible, like I said before. There will always be an argument in the house. How? First of all, if there is a little issue between maybe two of two of the children, they will use it to rob the rest one. You will see that some of the children will be looking for a way to like get some of the brothers and sisters to the, to, to him or her side. So that they will blame the other one for everything that is happening. Instead of them to unite together and solve the problem, everyone should 
take their responsibility and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, then we we'll move on. But you will find it difficult. They will find it difficult to always settle the issue. They will never come to an agreement for them to settle the issue. So, number six and number five. So, number five reason why giving birth too much, and if you cannot take care of them, this will also happen. The parents might not live long. I repeat, the parents might not live long. But that does not mean that there are some parents that give birth little that live longer. But in most cases, imagine you as a father, you have about 10 children or 16 children in most cases, even 10, uh, 20 children. And there is an argument in the house because your children are not responsible enough or because your children, they are too much. There will always be some of them that will make you get headache. That will make you get headache. But like, they will be arguing for nothing continuously. You understand? So this thing will make you not to last long. I'm talking about the parents. Because when maybe at times imagine you are trying to solve this issue and you have not solved the issue then another one boom because irresponsibility of the, because of the irresponsibility of you as a parent to your children and your children are not responsible also i'm talking out of experience listen to me i will say it again i'm talking out of experience everything i'm saying today here i've experienced them you understand i'm talking out of experience this will not make you last long. Imagine you, you are relaxing at home. One of your children will call you. They will be telling you, ah, my brother is doing me this. My brother is doing me that. Boo, boo, boo. Maybe you try to call the other one and ask him what is happening. This one will want to turn you against his or his, or his, or, or, or his brother or her brother. The same thing with the other one. Because, you know, a lot of people, when they are not responsible, because I find, it, I find this very common in a large family. A lot of them are not always responsible. They always want to put, they always want to point finger at the other one. So this will might not make the parents last long. So number six reason why you should not give birth too much is this: <clears throat> there will always be some of the children that they will not be responsible. They will always be, they will always be bringing problem back home. I repeat, the, there will always be some of the children. They will not be responsible. They will always be bringing problem back home, shame, all sorts of things. Name them. You understand? There will always be some. They don't want to care about themselves. I believe you guys understand. They will always be bringing, bringing problem back home, shame back to the family, always. Because because of irresponsibility, because the parents were not able to take care of them well. This is the reason why when you are, as a parent, before you start giving birth, look at your pocket. How much are you earning at the end of the month? How much are you making at the end of the day or month or whatever week? Can you take care of two children? Can you take care of three, four children? At least I always say, if you are a poor man or poor woman, it's a poor family, poor couple. Give birth to two children. It's easy. Look at rich people. You, despite the fact that rich people has a lot of money, they always try to give birth little so that they can take care of children easily and do their things. But poor people, a lot of poor people don't always think that way. You understand? A lot of people don't always think that way. Another thing, let me add this one to it. Number seven. Number seven reason why giving birth too much is a big problem there are some of of there will be some of the of the children in the family hmm? or in most cases you will see the family will be divided into some parts you will have some parts that are responsible you will have some parts that are not responsible okay and same time you will see some there will be some parts that will be united you know the ones that are trying they will be united because those ones that are trying in the family, they have fought a lot of issues. They have or had a lot of issues with those ones that are not trying. 
So based on based on what the issue that they have fought in the family, they don't want issues anymore. So they will divide their side. The family will divide their side. You will find out that there is some, they, those ones that are not trying will be. We always look for issues, look for problem in those ones that are trying, and they will always want to always make the ones that are trying the family always do the needful. Why then? They just want to receive. They don't want to give. You understand? So I don't want to go for that. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? There is a lot added to a family that is that is very big and their parents don't have money to take care of them. You understand? So why am I saying, saying this? I'm, I'm coming from this family and I've experienced everything that I just said to you guys and is 100 percent sure then another thing i will add to it let me add number eight to it number eight jealousy we know in a family there's there is a little too jealousy but when the family is is too much when right, you give birth too much there will be a jealousy in that family no matter what and most in most cases a lot of them we don't we don't want some of the uh, some of his brother or his sisters to be better than them. You understand? They will always look for a way to like collect from the one that is trying and they like I said before, they will not be responsible. Jealousy is added. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not a fool. Everything that almost most everything that I'm saying I'm I'm publishing on my Facebook. Most of them are from experience. You understand? So if you are a parent and you want to give birth, please don't only think about yourself. Don't only think about what you have, the way you feel. Think about the future of your children because if you cannot take care of your children, eh? if you cannot take care of children, your children will grow old with those mentality and they will grow old with most of the trauma they get from when they were growing up. They understand to live with them. There's um, there a lot of things that are stuck in here when I was growing up with my parents that I saw them doing when I was little. They are still here in my head. At times, I still wonder why my parents couldn't resolve a little issues they could have resolved just to make their uh, children' future better. It's still stuck in my head. So thank you. Be wise.